It was just a 15-minute phone call, but one that was 34 years in the making. The very fact that this was the first communications between an American and Iranian president since 1979 underscores the deep mistrust between our countries, but it also indicates the prospect of moving beyond that difficult history. The prospect of reaching an agreement on Iran's nuclear program seemed out of reach just weeks ago. While there were, will surely be important obstacles to moving forward, and success is by no means guaranteed, uh, I believe we can reach a comprehensive solution. A sentiment echoed by Iranian President Hassan Rouhani, who tweeted word of his call with Obama before the president confirmed it. Rouhani ended a week-long charm offensive in New York with a promise to submit a plan on Iran's nuclear program by next month. I assure you that on the Iranian side, this will is there fully 100 percent, that in a very short period of time, there will be a settlement on the nuclear issue. Where there is not settlement is Syria, where the fighting rages on. But the U.S. can tout diplomatic progress on that front as well. Tonight, the U.N. Security Council is expected to vote on a resolution to remove or destroy all of Syria's chemical weapons, a development President Obama today called, quote, a huge victory. This binding resolution will ensure that the Assad regime must keep its commitments or face consequences. Military action, however, is not part of the U.N. resolution. In fact, no specific sanctions are. If Syria does not comply, the Security Council would have to vote again or the U.S. act on its own, a step President Obama has so far avoided. The two presidents spoke through an interpreter, though President Rouhani bid farewell in English, saying, have a nice day. President Obama said goodbye with the Farsi farewell, Hodafez, which means may God be with you. All of these details, of course, coming out via President Rouhani's Twitter feed. The next meeting between U.S. officials, U.S. and Iranian officials, be, will be in Geneva next month, that at the political director level. But a senior administration official said, don't expect there will be regular interaction between the presidents. So this is clearly a very special day, but we're not going to see it that often. Earlier reasons. they exchanged some letters, and now there's a phone call. Yeah. We'll see what happens. It's interesting that Susan Rice now says it was really an Iranian initiative. They mm -hmm. sent word through a channel that uh, the president of Iran would like to speak with the president of the United States on his way to the airport. And, and the president of the United States said, OK, I'll call him. Well, I think it's possible that the Iranian president saw all the disappointment to the handshake not happening and then the questions that followed, wait, does he really have the backing of Tehran? Can he really deliver on these promises? And probably wanted to demonstrate that by saying, yeah, I can deliver and I can't even talk to an American president.